Hi friends, how are you all? I'm so happy to see you all through this uh, short message. I don't know how many of you all watched my YouTube live last week. For your information, every week, Saturday, 6 o'clock, I will be coming online on YouTube, Facebook and Instagram. You can watch my live telecast. I'll be talking to you both in Tamil and English. So don't get irritated if I'm talking in Tamil. The same thing, I will talk to you in English also. It will be bilingual. I'll pray for you also in English. So don't fail to watch those live telecasts every Saturday at 6 p.m. Today we are going to talk about the inheriting the land, inheriting the land where our foot treads, where we have walked upon. See in India if we drive the car or two-wheeler, we are sure to pass the driver's license test anywhere in the world because in India we have so many rules and regulations but even then our mindset is uh, such that we never listen to anything properly. We are always in a hurry, people are always in a hurry, we are always honking honking, we are always saying this man is wrong, that man is wrong, I am in the right. So for instance if you take when we are going from a by lane, you know from a side lane onto a main road, we will be waiting to get into the main road but many times the people who are in the main road will never allow us to enter. They will keep on passing by. They will never wait for us to enter. But what we have to do is slowly one by one, inch by inch, inch by inch, if we move across, then we can easily get into the main road. In the same way, God wants us to inherit his promises slowly and steadily. We have to work on it. If we stay in the same place, we'll never be able to get across into the main road. If we stay in the same place, we will never be able to inherit his blessings. He promised Abraham in Genesis chapter 13 verse 17, he says, Walk the land on, on its length and breadth and you will inherit it. Walk on the land, length and breadth, he says. So Abraham was asked to walk on the land from here to there. So sometimes we think that God is asking us to do some mundane and uh, useless tasks. But the Bible says in Deuteronomy chapter 11 verse 24, the Israelites were promised, whatever land your foot treads upon, that will be yours whatever land that your foot treads upon. So they had to tread upon it. They had to walk upon it. They could not sit in one place in the same way. Don't sit at home praying over your promises. Of course, you have to pray over your promises, but you have to strive for it in faith. You have to work for it in faith and the Lord will surely give you the inheritance, give you the promises, whatever you have asked for, whatever he has promised you to give, it will all be yours. God bless you.